Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show. The Rock and Review is catching up with country music hall of famer, hit songwriter, singer, producer, and guitarist, Dan Penn. Dan, thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks for having me, Eric. You know, uh, you have such a storied career writing hits for so many amazing artists, and, uh, and, and you're also working with the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. You're going to be on next week on Tuesday with uh, part of their songwriter series that you're uh, going to be a part of helping out other people learn about writing songs and everything as you've done all your life. Am I going to do that? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Well, I, Michael never told me exactly what it was except an interview, and uh, I, I'll do what I can. Well, it's pretty incredible that you're a part of this series, and it's all part of the virtual things that the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum is doing. You know, uh, no pressure, but you're following a few people, you know, like Dirks Bentley and, and Cam and so many other great artists. I think even Steve Warner, uh, you know, and, and you're coming on to this series. But I have to bring up as well, Dan, you know, through the years, you worked with some amazing artists, such as Aretha Franklin, Percy Sledge, Charlie Rich, so many that, that you've produced and also written songs with, right? Yeah, I saw those. I did. Uh, wrote one for Aretha, Do Right Woman. Quite a few others. I can't remember just what they were. <laughs> A lot of this is a long time ago, you know. So. Well, you know, uh, what's not a long time ago is that you have a brand new album out. Yes, uh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the rest of us are saying, because you've been writing hit songs for everybody else. And, uh, you know, you've got an incredible new album coming out. I listened to the whole, uh, the entire album, Dan, and I think my favorite song on there is uh, Down on Music Row. Yeah, that's a kind of a true type song. I mean, uh, so many people come to Nashville to make it right. uh, in the music business. And as you know, it's not that it's not easy to, to open the doors. It's no, not at all. Pretty hard. You got to be good and you got to be persistent. And, uh, and you need to know somebody. Most of them don't know anybody when they come here, I don't think. And it was just in my imagination. But, uh, you know, I, I see a lot of people laying around in, the, in on the sidewalks and stuff. And I wonder, is that one that didn't make it, you know? Right. So... It's uh, kind of a true story. Well, you know, and, and the name of the album, which I love the cover, that has you uh, kind of getting out of a truck and everything on the front of the album, Living on Mercy. I mean, how did you come up with this whole concept for the album in general? Because like you and I were talking before we started the show, Dan, it's been a while since you put out an album of your own because people know you as a songwriter, but also you have an incredible voice, uh, you know, with Thank this you. music. Thank you. Uh, well, you know, it's a full-time job writing songs and producing records for people. Uh, and, you know, I always just put myself in the background and, and work for people. And I always liked that I could stay home and uh, not have to hit the road. As an artist, you have to do that. So, you know, it come down to the there wasn't anybody coming to my studio hardly at that time. And I said, well, man, I, I used to sing a little. Maybe I'll just uh, cut me a record. <laughs> <laughs> so did you did you produce your own record? Yeah, yeah. I had some help with Ron Lowry here. He's, he's my friend. And uh, there, here he is. And, and he, he, <laughs> he, helped, he helped me uh, mix it and, and record it. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a great new album, and, and I'm sure you're going to have some singles off of it, um, you know, as it's rolling out, and, uh, you know, it's available on all platforms, right? It'll be um, digital and everything? Yeah, I think they downloaded it, and it's a CD, and it's also going to be a uh, vinyl record also. I think this is one of those albums with your songwriting and singing, Dan, that's really going to lend itself to vinyl, so you can take in the whole experience of the songs. That's you know, I think that's where the songs still sound their best. You don't lose any of the frequencies. Yeah, that analog has its place all right. <laughs> and, and are you still a, a believer when you're recording and working with other artists and still using the analog? Uh, I could. Uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes I, I have, sometimes the digital. Uh, this album was recorded all in digital. Really? Yeah. It don't wow. sound like it. 
It doesn't no, it doesn't. sound like it. But we got this uh, we got this mixer over here called Mixbus. It uh, sounds so analog. Wow. Made, made by Harrison, and and it's a uh, it's it's an excellent sounding board, and uh, we just kept hitting it and hitting it, and you know the next thing we know we had a good, got a good sounding record. Well, I'll tell you, you love, certainly. But I, have... but I love I, I I still love the tape. I'm a fan. I like I like the warmth. Yeah, yeah, it's warmer. Ain't no doubt about it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'm sure that our viewers are going to, uh, you know, enjoy going to the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum website and catching you on the Songwriter Series this coming Tuesday, <clears throat> August 25th. Congratulations on your brand new album, which is out now, Living on Mercy. They should probably, you know, they, they can go to your website, go to your social media, Dan Penn. Thank you so much for coming on the Rock and Review, and I hope you have a great time at the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum Stay in touch and congratulations on your new album as well. Thank you. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show.